burned shells are all that's left of a van and car that caught fire during Wednesday's storm. This amateur video shows the flames and smoke. The chaos played out in front of the Nascotset home of a U.S. Olympian, Maria Mishta. When you say fire, cars on fire, I would never imagine the damage that we just saw. I mean, they were completely burnt down just to the core. Mishta was out training for her 20K race walk when two power lines fell in her front yard. To me, it sounded like a mini bomb went off, and it was just really loud. I've never heard anything loud like that before. Mishta's sisters, Katie and Christy, think a lightning strike knocked down the wires. As fire erupted on the front lawn, they fled their house with their mom. It looked like something out of a war zone where you hear all the explosions and the tremendous um, flames. But then I just kept praying, please don't let the house go. The fire never reached the house, but it did destroy the van and car. And all his firefighters looked on helplessly. Sue Mishta says they couldn't do anything because it took LIPA crews more than an hour to respond to the scene and turn off the power. Minutes mattered in this case. And it's not like you go to the deli, take a number, and wait your turn in line numerically. LIPA didn't return our calls for comment on what happened at the Mishta house. Sue Mishta believes her van and car could have been saved if the utilities crews had responded more quickly. Maria Mishta will be leaving for London next week and says this unexpected excitement shouldn't impact her plans. But it was something she wishes she could have avoided. So hopefully the next time you see me really on TV is opening ceremonies with my gear on. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.